and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. As a nation, we identify ourselves as one people today faced with a national crisis. And we come together under the leadership of the president to seek God's assistance and intervention. Aside the specific reason for the fast, a true fast will give you an experience with God and also improve our human relationships one with another. Before we start, we come into his presence with thanksgiving. We are not forgetful that even in crisis, God has been merciful to us. He has forgiven us our sins. And so this morning, we want to start with thanksgiving, entering into his presence as part of his divine protocol. We want to count our blessings and name them one by one. We want to thank God for the peace we have enjoyed and for all the abundant blessings and resources he has showered on us as a people. We are grateful for all you have done and continue to do for this country, Ghana. We are here this morning to say thank you. I want to say thank you for the blessings of independence and for your continued blessings all these years, even though we admit we haven't always done what is right in your sight. Even in your judgment, you are merciful. You are merciful. In the Fourth Republic, so many times we have escaped crisis just by your intervention and your mercies. We have survived coups and strengthened our democratic dispensation. We are alive today, not because we are righteous in our own selves, but because in the judgment of God, he has always provided a way of escape. Today we stand in this place and say that you, our Father, you are our only hope. And we stand before you today in awe of your power and in gratitude for your blessings and humility for our sins. The Bible says that bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not his benefits. Who forgives all our iniquities and who heals all our diseases. I want to just continue and start, continue with a prayer of confession of sins, asking God for his forgiveness. Today, I want you to join me, confess all our sins, and humbly ask for the forgiveness from the Lord. I want to say that, Father, show us mercy and heal our land. Wherever you are, just stand on behalf of the nation. A nation is a collection of people. It is our individual sins that translate into a national disaster. And so you want to say that, Father, cleanse me. Forgive me from all unrighteousness. I have fallen short of your glory. I have watched and kept quiet when I should have spoken up. I have been complicit in many things. I have not prayed enough. And so today, I confess my sins. I have not walked in righteousness. I have gone astray from you and your word. I have strayed from after idols. I have shed innocent blood. As a result, our peaceful and quiet nation has been turned into a chaotic one. So many bad things are happening all around us because we have given the enemy a footing over our lives and nations. And so today we come boldly to find grace and mercy. We ask for pardon for our sins, that nothing in our past shall sabotage our plans for our future. And so, Father, here we stand before you in a national crisis, but we ask for healing. We confess our sins. Forgive us from the president to the citizens. We have done wrong. We have erred. We have not always done right, either by acts of commission or acts of omission. And so we come boldly to find grace and mercy. We ask for forgiveness of sins. We ask for pardon for our sins. And we stand under the authority of the blood. We plead the covering of the blood over every part of this nation, over our whole being. We come under the canopy of the blood of Jesus. May the blood of the superior lamb of God that was slain on the cross at Calvary speak mercy and pardon on our behalf. We declare that we have been purchased. We have been bought and redeemed by the blood. And today we pray the redemptive power of the blood over this nation, over this land. Cleanse and purge this nation from all our sins and from every, every evil. Every planting of the evil one on this land. We speak the blood. May the blood speak for us. May the blood speak mercy in the name of Jesus. We have been purchased. We ask that, Father, you heal this land. Our heart breaks for this country. We see, we see discord at home. We see fear in the marketplaces. We see anger in the halls of government. And as a nation, 
We, have, we seemingly have forgotten who made us and who protects us and who has blessed us. And for that, we cry out for forgiveness. Father, hear our cry. Heal us. This morning, we humble ourselves before you. And we say that we need you. We cry out unto you. Come and heal our land. Our land is sick. We need healing. Our businesses are sick. Our economy is sick. We need you, Lord. You are the healer, the great healer. So stretch forth your hand and heal us. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. This morning, we want you to join us wherever you are in the comfort of your homes. As we ask for forgiveness for our sins. As we count our blessings and name them one by one. If you are alive today, it is not because you are smarter than any other person. As a nation, we are not better than other nations, but you've been merciful. And so this morning, we thank you for your mercies. And we come to find grace to help in our time of need. As we gather together and we pray, let heaven respond. Send divine assistance in the name of Jesus. Cover us. Let the forces of heaven arise and fight on our behalf. Let them secure the borders of this nation. Let no evil come over into this nation. We declare a Passover by the covering of the blood. Let every evil pass over. Preserve us, O Father. That is why we cry. We lift up our eyes beyond our human effort. Our faith is in you. And we reach out to the Most High God. You who are able to do all things. Heal us. Heal this land. Today, in a time of national crisis, you have brought us back to yourself. We remember you. Forgive us for the past where we ignored you. Where we thought we were sufficient in ourselves. And today we cry out, Father, hear our prayer in the name of Jesus. We join with one heart. We lift up our hands and our voices together. And we cry to the true God, the one who sent his son to die on the cross. The one who shed his blood for us. That blood that speaks better things. May you arise, O God, and show yourself on our behalf. Show yourself strong on our behalf in the name of Jesus. This is our prayer. We stand together as a people, lifting up our voices from the north to the south. In every region, we cry, the young, the old, the adults, the children, the old father. We cry out as we can. And we say that, Father, hear our prayer. Stretch forth your hand. Heal this nation. Forgive us our sins. Restore the glory of the land. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We cry out. Hear us, Father. We stand again one, once again in the name of Jesus. And we pray and we say, Father, deliver us from evil. Here we stand in the name of Jesus. The name above every other name. We employ the use of that name. We cry out. We bind and we cast out every plague and evil from our midst and in this nation. We say that, Father, bring healing to those infected with the coronavirus. Those we see and we do not see who may be infected. We ask that you who sees all things. Before you, all things are naked. We cry out. Send forth your word and heal the sick. And deliver us from our distractions. Let your word go forth into every home every crook and cranny of this nation heal the sick deliver us from our distractions deliver us oh father we cry out you who are able to do exceeding abundantly above what we think of or ask here we cry here we stand petitioning your grace petitioning your mercy let your mercy flow let your grace be abundant toward us enable us to rise up again take fear out of this nation bring healing in the name of jesus deliver us from evil Deliver us from evil. Deliver us from evil. In the name of Jesus, send forth your word. We send it forth into every family, into every home. Heal the sick. Deliver us from our distractions. Heal the sick, Lord. Deliver us from our distractions. This is our cry. We lift up our voice together, united in the name of Jesus. United as a people who need help, who cry out to you, Father. Heal the sick. Heal the sick. Them that are infected, heal them. Them that we do not even know, that may be suffering every ailment. Let your healing overflow. Let it touch every situation. Bring healing. Heal the land. Heal the land. It is not only our bodies that are sick. Our land is also sick. Heal this land. Restore. Only you can do it. You who are able to do above what man can do. Our faith is in you. And so, Father, in the name of Jesus, we beseech your grace and your mercy over the land. Heal all those that are infected. Heal our land. Heal our land. Heal our river bodies. Heal our river bodies. Heal our land. Heal our economies. Heal our hospitals. Heal our schools. Heal, oh God. Heal our teachers. Heal our parents. Heal our government officials. We are sick. We need you, Lord. And so bring divine healing that only you can bring into this land. Send forth your word. Let your word prevail. Let your word grow. 
Let your word prevail. Let your word grow.